What is up, YouTube? This is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today, I am out here doing an unboxing video for you guys on the new Samsung Terrace TV. This is a really nice weatherproof outdoor TV. You guys know that we love Samsung here at Dream Media. We actually have access to the Samsung Experience Center, which is where I first saw this product and was really impressed by it. And now we're gonna be putting it into a home here in Frisco, Texas. Now, if you guys are in the Texas market and you're looking for a Samsung TV, um, we, like I said, we have that Experience Center down there at the World Trade Center in Dallas and we can do scheduled tours with you guys to view everything that Samsung has to offer. We are your go-to Samsung dealer, guys. And if you guys would like to purchase anything home theater related, make sure to reach out and share your support. We ship throughout the entire nation with love the opportunity to earn your business. All right, guys, let's get into this unboxing. Okay, guys, so before we actually open it up, I wanted to bring it into the backyard just to make the installation a little bit easier. This is the space that we're working with. Pretty typical Texas home. You got a nice little covered patio back here and you need some entertainment, right? We already put in the outdoor speakers for him years ago and those are great and all, but he wants a little bit of video. Some nice Texas days where you just wanna chill out on the patio and have a beer and watch the game. So this is the new Terrace TV. I'm really excited to get this up on the wall for him. This is the location where we're gonna be putting it and you can see there's no electricity. Well, I got one of my preferred installers out here, and what we're gonna be doing is tapping off of, there's an outlet behind this wall, which we'll show you once we get more into the installation, um, but there's an outlet in the other room that we're gonna tap off of. So we're gonna drill through this wall and tap off the electrical outlet that's right there to get us power. And then this is the TV. You can see it's starting to unbox it now. Pretty thin profile. And the whole top is actually just gonna slide right off like this, guys. There you go. And what's really great about these Terrace TVs, you guys know that we sell Sunbright as well. So if you guys wanna do a Sunbright TV, we have the full line there uh, as well. We have the um, Veranda, Signature, and Pro Series. Um, and then the Samsungs are really cool because you guys know that I've been promoting a lot of QLED TVs recently, uh, Quantum Dot. They're incredibly impressive. They're very, very bright. And in this same home here, we're gonna be doing a Samsung TV in the living room, replacing one of his old ones with the, uh, the new 2021 uh, Q80. So subscribe to the channel and check that out as well. But this is kind of the right out of the box, what you can expect whenever you purchase from us, guys has a pretty small bolt pattern on it. And it looks like over here is where our HDMI connections are gonna be. Okay guys, so one thing I like to do when mounting TVs is with two people, just go ahead and lay it down on its face on a soft surface. Obviously, make sure to put something underneath that you don't want to scratch your brand new TV. But this just makes it very easy to get your bracket on. And then you're not struggling with all the foam in the box and um, trying to get those brackets into the correct location. Yeah, so I believe this is where our HDMI board is. This is the first one that I've installed, so I'm literally just walking you guys through it as I see it. We have the uh, user manual here. has our power cord in there. Batteries are included. Actually, they include a really long power cord. And this is ground a grounded power cord, guys. And when you're doing an installation, if you're DIYing it, make sure that you put in a GFCI. Uh, we're going to be doing a GFCI out here. Any professional installer that you hire will do a GFCI when it's outdoor, just because you want to protect the unit. 
This is the remote. Very sleek. Nice looking remote. This has all your smart features built in, guys, for like Netflix, Amazon, Samsung TV. It's a smart TV, which, I mean, is pretty typical these days. And then you have your registration and warranty, the model SKU there. So, guys, um, I do always want to point out in our videos that we are an authorized reseller. It's really important, especially when you're buying on the internet, that you're purchasing from an authorized reseller because, say, God forbid something does happen to the unit, we wanna make sure that you're covered and that the manufacturer is gonna get you a new one. Okay, well, um, I think that's, oh, well, what else we got here? We got a, a little channel, some type of bracket here. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but in a moment, um, before the end of the installation, I'll show you what this is. Yeah, that's, that's everything in the box. So we'll start there, guys. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get our bracket on the TV. Let's keep on moving. All right, check it out, guys. So this is, in fact, the HDMI, actually your whole video board, everything that you're gonna connect to the television is gonna come in right here. And I like they got these little plugs to make sure that it's weatherproof. So what I'm gonna do is bring this camera up a little closer and show you guys. Check it out. This is what the inside of the TV looks like. You can see they have these little plugs for like different size cables. What you'll wanna do is for your really tiny stuff, bring it through these smaller ports that way it's nice and tight and totally sealed. Like, look, they have a little tiny one for like a trigger cable or something small like that. And then they got big ones for like coax, HDMI, things like that. Um, you got an antenna if you wanna hook up a old school connection. You have your external link, audio out. This is important for all my custom integrators and guys that uh, may be wanting to take this audio um, into another source like a control system uh, so that you can distribute it throughout the home um, a, an example would be like this home here these speakers are tied to sonos um, so the reason i point that out is you could take audio out of this into a sonos port and with the sonos port you could grab this audio and pair it together with these speakers here so then the television whatever's playing on this tv would then go out of these speakers here in this customer's uh situation he wanted to actually just make it simple on his wife because he travels a lot um, he wanted to just do a sound bar up underneath the TV so it's just turn it on and use it and have the option to be able to either select music up here for the um, through the speakers or TV here. Now, the other way that you can go about this is by uh, importing the audio into the television so that you could have both playing at the same time for music or games. So. That's the point of these connections, is just giving you flexibility so that you can route audio accordingly depending on the system you have in the house. HDMIs, I don't think we really need to talk about this. This is just gonna be for like an Apple TV or a cable box or anything like that. So they have a digital audio out optical. This could also be used with the Sonos ports, take audio out of the TV, or you could use it for like a sound bar. So you had a sound bar mounted to the bottom of the TV. You could take the audio out into your powered soundbar down below here. HD Base T. Um, this is going to be used for um, my guys who like to distribute video. Um, HD Base T is for basically video distribution and you can also combine multiple panels together and fun stuff like that. Uh, and then just a USB. This is uh, useful if you had like a small little Roku. You could just do HDMI and then power it up with the USB. There's the power rating on it right there. Very clean. I love Samsung products. They, they do a really nice job and they, they keep everything at a very reasonable price point too. I have some very premium offerings um, from 
other manufacturers that can get up there in cost. Samsung does a good job of balancing performance and cost. So that's that's the port, guys. I hope you enjoyed that little walkthrough. There's a lot of screws. That That's one thing I don't really like. They put a ton of screws to get in there. And another thing that I'm not, a, not gonna like too much is the bracket that's gonna go on the back of this. We went with a huge one, so it has a lot of swing to it so that he can move it around a lot. But let me uh, show you guys what I mean. Juan, you wanna bring that over here? So these right here, these brackets are gonna go on the, te the television like that. And then this guy here is gonna go right in there like that so it's actually gonna cover our access panel what I'm gonna try to do is bring it down to where this will still open um, but this mount is not required yeah we might be able to make it work we'll, we'll see um, but this mount is not required for this TV this is a very small bolt pattern so if you don't want to have to worry about having access to this we have other mount options that'll just bolt right in here and these bars won't be an issue but this particular customer wanted it to swing really far off the wall I mean look at that it's like uh, two three feet off the wall so that'll give him really nice flexibility for his viewing area okay well we're gonna tinker with this and, and get it lined up. We know where we want the bottom of the TV, so what we're gonna do is measure from the bottom of the bracket to the bottom of the TV, which is three and a half inches. Customer, he wants the TV right here, one brick higher than his little hooks. We've already marked the center of the wall, which is where we want the TV, so we're gonna do three and a half inches up from right here. So. Right there will be the bottom of the bracket. So bottom of the bracket here, center of the bracket here. And then we marked out the edge of the TV is gonna be here. And the reason I wanna point that out, guys, is because we're gonna be tapping into electrical, which is gonna be a fun little addition to this video that I hope uh, you guys enjoy. A lot of you guys have new construction homes, you won't have to mess with this, but for my guys out there that have older homes or maybe you're not wired, um, you'll appreciate this a little insight into electrical Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get the bracket up there and Hold it up and mark out where exactly we're gonna be You want to grab it one? We're gonna mark out exactly where we need to drill our holes because we need to use heavy-duty acres Over over heavy-duty uh, concrete anchors guys. Yeah, so right there is center and we want it level with the brick Go ahead and come down a little bit on your side. On the right side one. Bottom. Yeah. And then just throw the level up there so we can see. Okay, we're level. So now we're gonna take our our pencil and mark out exactly where we need to drill into the stone. You don't wanna go into the mortar, guys. You wanna make sure that your center of the hole and that you're going into the stone or brick. If you go into the mortar, odds are your TV is gonna fall off the wall. Mortar is like sand. It's very, uh, it degrades easily. So we wanna go into this hard surface here. So we're gonna do four heavy duty concrete acres. All right, guys, I came inside so that you could hear me better. He's drilling them in right now, but this is called a Tapcon. You can pick it up at Home Depot or Lowe's. It's specifically designed for mounting a TV into stone or brick, and I, I really like it because it's pretty easy. They include the drill bit and then the screws. Obviously, you'll need some washers, but um, you, you drill the hole through the stone or the brick, and then this just screws right in. Simple. And he'll be done in just a moment and we'll be throwing this bad boy up. Stay tuned, guys. All right, as you guys can see, I had to take a quick phone call, but now I'm back out here and the guys are screwing it in. There's one left. You can see they put the washers on there and you wanna evenly distribute that weight. And 
and then you want to check level and then tighten them all down and then we're ready to rock and roll on to electrical There we go. All right guys, so we finally made it through. Uh, what we ended up doing was concrete to get through um, the exterior wall and then we hollowed it out and put a wood bit on there and drilled through that exterior um, layer, that plywood. And now what Juan's doing is putting a little single gang outlet and that way we can put a blank plate on it and then the wall can be repaired later. But what we need to do is we pushed it to where we're at least past this stud. So now all we need to do is get past this stud here. So what we're going to do is pull the TV down and cut another hole, another single gang hole, and drill through it and fish the line up to the outlet that's up here behind the TV. So um, we're going to pull the TV down. I'm going to help the guys out here. All right, check it out, guys. We are moving right along. This is what I was talking about with Romax. This is what they use to build your home. You want to use Romex, do it properly. If you aren't comfortable doing electrical work, hire a professional. You do not want to burn your house down with an extension cord. Um, you can see, so there, there was a stud here where the TV was mounted and they drilled through that stud over to here and then they drilled through this stud down to there. And then we're going to shoot it out through the wall out to where the TV is going to go. Okay guys, uh, we are moving right along. As you can see, we got the Romax popped right through. We got our box mounted to the exterior of the stone. And then he wrapped the outlet in electrical tape because this is a metal box just to make sure that everything's uh, solid and up to code. Now, I did point out earlier in the video that we are going to be doing a GFCI. But actually, this particular home has a GFCI back on the breaker, so it's going to trip. It's not necessary. Um, if you do not have a GFCI on the breaker on this circuit, then you do need to put a GFCI outlet here. Um, but in this case, we're solid. So the next step is just going to be putting a weather rated uh, top on it like this so that it actually seals. You can see the foam that's going to seal right to the outlet. So in a minute, I'll show you how to connect it to the other side on the interior. And then we'll move on to the fun part, getting this TV up on the wall. All right, check it out, guys. We just finished up on the interior master bedroom. You can see we put some blank plates there and then we tapped off of this outlet up here. Everything's buttoned up and we're gonna throw this TV up and then go outside and throw that TV up. Moving along. All right, and you can, let me kill the audio before we get copyright. Okay, so we, you can see we got our weatherproof outlet out here. We got our swing arm going. We're gonna go ahead and tighten this down so the weight of the TV doesn't pull it into the tilting position. Just like that. There's two screws that go right here and we go right here. We got the nuts and washers right there. We're going to go ahead and throw her up there. Just hangs right there. Perfect. So this is what I like about this mount so much, guys, is I got it. Yeah, it's good. You hang it on this little tongue back here and then it just sits there. So installing the TV is a breeze. I mean, if you wanted to with a TV this size, you could even do it yourself. But with two people, I mean, it's just bang. You hang it right on there and we're gonna tighten these bolts down. Check it out. As you guys can see, just hung right on there like a pitcher. And then we got our little lock screw, which keeps it from moving. We got two of them. That's it. 
Okay, so we just did a little bit of wire management, guys. Uh, out of our power outlet, a little zip tie. And this has some nice wire chases right here. And you can see we left a little slack so it can swivel. And then a little bit of slack right here. And I actually put all of the extra wire up in the housing, which we're sealing up right now. We wanna make sure that it's weatherproof. It is looking good. And you can see with this mount, the reason we chose it is you can literally swivel this 180 degrees. It looks awesome. It's gonna be really nice sitting in this viewing area. Or if you're just out here in the yard playing with the kids, you know, have the football game on and be chillaxing. Well guys, I'm excited. We're about to fire it up. Hang in there. One last thing before we fire this puppy up, guys, is this little bracket here. I told you that I would let you know what this is for. I just looked in the user manual, and this is actually designed to go right here as a cable holder. Um, but we have this full motion bracket here, so it's definitely not gonna work. Uh, we're just gonna put it aside, but I did wanna point out that that's the use of this part that you're gonna get whenever you purchase the TV. More so for people putting it on a stand. Make sure to leave your plastic on, guys, and leave these on until the TV's up on the wall because it'll prevent your TV from cracking or, yeah, it, it'll prevent damage whenever you're doing your installation because your fingers may overlap a little bit. Is the power on one? Yeah? All right, guys, we are up and running. This is just a quick little demo I'm playing off of YouTube, so it's not gonna maximize the potential of the system, but it kind of gives you a rough idea of the image quality that you can expect whenever you're viewing it out on the patio. And you can see we got it swung out, kind of how the customer will be using it from the primary seating area. Looking good. And that's kind of fully extended out, but obviously he could have it right there centered and also have it pivoted towards us or out in the yard if you're playing with the kids. So I'll just kind of bring it up close so you guys can see the, the imaging. It's really impressive. I mean, super, super bright. I saw this at the Samsung Experience Center and I was like, ooh, we gotta get these in a customer's home where I can do a video on it because they're nice. Quantum dot, beautiful. That's kind of Samsung's thing. Hey Juan, could you move this around for me? I'm gonna have uh, the installer move it around so you guys can kind of see how easy it is just to adjust it. Just kind of swing it out towards the yard and you know move it around a little bit so they can see. Very, very easy to maneuver. And you can see how far this thing comes off the wall. I mean, even with the direct glare, it's still nice and bright. You can see it clear as day from out here. And then if we wanted to put it back into the stationary position, we're just gonna swing the arm like this. Well. And then push it back. And then if we wanted to put it back into the stationary position, you're just gonna swing it right back into place. And push it back with me, Juan. Your way. There we go. Just like that. Very clean. And it's nice that the customer had this little um, bump out here because it really gives it a nice field of view when you walk out the door. All right, guys, well, that is a wrap on our Samsung Terrace TV installation unboxing video. You guys got it all today. We unboxed it, we installed it, we did a demo for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this content and it helped you make an educated buying decision. If you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below for more. If you guys would like to purchase this product or anything else home theater related, make sure to reach out and show your support. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. We do free consultations, guys. We'll FaceTime video with you. We'll walk through your entire space and tailor products just like this 
speakers, receivers, projectors, screens, everything that you need specifically to your room and your budget. So reach out today and show your support. All right, guys. Well, till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.